Hey folks, I'm Vixen, today we are going to play a bit of the Guilty Renaissance, a game by 4 Ed Studio. It's a game in which we are going to play as a dynasty of merchants, which is going to try to, to thrive in the year uh, 1400 in Europe. And to do that you can do plenty of things, you can make your business successful and there is plenty of different uh, kind of profession you can tackle. You can enter in politics and try to deal with uh, the law of the city and how everything is going to work. You can also be a thief and attack caravans or live off burglary or be a pickpocket. And coming from that there is a, a whole system of of proof and evidence which people are getting together on each other and you can use in, in trials. And there is so many things in the game. It's Pretty incredible. There is a very little game which are going to be similar to this game, and this is why I'm so excited to see a sequel coming from uh, the, the new owner of the franchise, Nordic Game. And I really wanted to make uh, a playthrough before the, the next uh, episode would be released, which uh, might be this year. I hope it is going to be the case, but it can definitely be delayed. Nonetheless, let's just create a new character. There is a pretty cool layer of RPG mechanic which has been added in this episode, which was not there in the first opus, and which is adding a lot of depth to the um, to the game. It is important because you are physically present in the game. It is a management game, but you can also be killed, you can be attacked, you can be mugged, you can uh, you can get your stuff stolen. So your uh, there is an importance in your character being. Um, let's say upgraded properly uh, in the way you want to uh, use it in the world. So let's just go for it. So the first weakness of the game is that I personally don't really like the, um, let's say, the, the design of the character. They are uh, a bit rough. It is a game from 2006, but it was already um, uh, not that good at the time. So let's just uh, go with uh, the full thing. We are going to select a city. We are going to go for this map, uh, which is going to um, give us three city to uh, to play with. We are going to go with 16 dynasty. I'm going to try to go with art. It's probably a bad idea. I've been uh, away from the game for quite a while, and I don't really remember all the thing I'm going to require to survive. We are going to go in dynasty mode, which is probably the mode I'm using the most. There is a bunch of others, but I think I've been mostly playing Dynasty mode all the time I've been playing that game. We can choose our coat of arm. There is quite a bunch of basically the color of your of your dynasty. There is a bunch of map as well, but we are going to stick to this car to this one. And uh, let's just go for it. So our character has quite a bunch of different talents here, which are going to be very important for his profession. You can choose his first name and last name. There is a class here. The class is important. This was one of the things I didn't like in the second episode because you cannot change the class of your character. It was possible in the first one, but you cannot do it in this one. It is kind of easy to live with it because you can very well just have a wife which is going to be from another class and which is going to enable you to maybe uh, control another kind of business because the business are linked to the class so you cannot let's say you cannot go with uh, a class of a patron here and and try to be a thief or something like that you are not going to be uh, able to run uh, the business which are going to be associated with the class if you are not of the right class no, let's just keep going. So uh, the sex is going to enable you to uh, go with male or female, but uh, it is not as important as the religion, which is going to have an influence on the way you are going to be perceived by your your peers. You can go with also a little bonus with the uh, zodiac sign. There is quite a bit, and. Um, Basically, we've got all the, the regular skills we can expect. The constitution is going to uh, give you more health point, but it is also going to allow your character to live longer. You've got dexterity, which is going to be, I could just right click, it's going to give us uh, all the little bits where it is going to be useful. I'm not going to go through all of it, but there is plenty of skills which are very important, like charisma, which are going to enable you to, um, let's say, to, to give a better appearance to, um, to a better relationship with your with your neighbors and, and all the people which are going to be around, uh, the people you are going to uh, see in the streets and it's going to prevent maybe them to attack you when they are going to see that you are going to do something which is illegal or something like that. Maybe if they like you better, uh, it's going to change a bit the way they are going to react. So very important. And we are going to go with that for now. Okay, let's go. And we've got a bit of customization, but the character are not going to uh, be very, very, very nice. We've got a very little theater. It is a game, as I was saying, from 2006, and the um, customization was not that good at the, the time. So we are just going to go with that, and we'll see what's going to happen next.
All right, so we begin with uh, a little uh, oval over there. Well, oh, wait, so I've been uh, saving without noticing. So we begin with a little oval, as I was saying, where we're going to find a bunch of utilities, but we'll just take a look at that later on because we need to find uh, a place where to establish our little uh, trade. Yet, I did not explain the, um, the one I've been choosing. I'm going to go with Scholar. We're going to try to uh, open some kind of hospital here. And... Uh, I've got other choice, of course. We've got a uh, different thing. We're going to go with Scholar first, but you see, I can you, uh, I can open Tank Tree, which is going to be possible to grade in different ways, like uh, Magician Shop or an Alchemist Shop. We've got Church of the two different uh, of Protestant and Catholic here. We've got the Pest House, which is basically the, the hospital we are going to aim for. We've got a Vault, uh, a Pound Broker. And for that uh, particular class, it is all. But if I was to begin with others, I would have different choice. I've got the patron here, which are going to be able to to make farms and and bakery and public house uh, to make tavern and stuff. Or I can maybe make a fisher shop, uh, sh a fisher shack to be a fisherman. We've got windmills and stuff. There's plenty of options here. We can go with a craftsman, which would be able to make a foundry, a carpenter shop with a mill. There's plenty of different jobs that you can see except you know, there is a few we cannot do at the beginning because we are just beginning with 2500 so it is going to limit the way you are going to be able to begin oh can there will be a rug which is going to be able to go with different kind of trade like a rubber nest to attack uh, the caravan We've got a smuggler hole which is going to enable you to hire pickpockets and to uh, to steal people from the streets we've got a pub which is um, going to have some, some uh, shady prep, uh, uh, some shady thing you can do with it later on you've got a mercenary quarter which is going to ask for projection money you've got a pirate haven which is going to uh, i don't remember this one but i think it was about uh, probably attacking boats and stuff it is something which would probably be well, working a bit better if you are playing uh, with friends as there is going to be maybe more boats which are going to move around and we've got the Vagabond camp which is I think an, uh, an, an addition from the Renaissance edition because I don't know this one really and we've got a bunch of things which are going to be uh, more like utilitarian, stu utilitarian stuff like the lookout tower to protect your, your buildings if you've got storehouse, if you've got too many things you need to store and your, your house, you've got uh, this one here, the hut to begin with you can upgrade it to get uh, more things you can do with it you can upgrade it until you reach uh, the mansion Oh no, no, not to mention the, the pleasure palace. So these three uh, are new as well, and they're going to cost quite a bit. And that's basically uh, all we can do with a different profession. Nonetheless, let's just begin the game. There is already too many things here. So let's just try to do the simple, simple things first, because we've got plenty of important things to do at the beginning. It's going to be very, very important. So the first thing we need to do is to check if we've got, let's say, uh, rivals. If there is any other... Uh, yes, there is. On the map, you can see there is another pest house. Uh, let's check if I can buy it because if you can buy the, um, the only uh, hospital there is in the city, it's always better because you've got no rivals. So this one I cannot. It is belonging to uh, a citizen, which is going to be uh, called Dominic uh, Bussero, and I'm not sure we'll be uh, selling that. So we are going to uh, try to find a good spot to build our own. Let's just uh, craft. Uh, let's see uh, the pest house here. I could also go with something else, but I want to do uh, one of these. So we're going to try to make it uh, happen very close to the, the town center. So it should be probably good here because there is a, the market which is just in the middle. So we're going to do it over there. It's going to take a bit of time to build, but not too much. Oh, no, it's not built. I, I knew it. And uh, we're going to invest a bit of money, uh, I think. Let's see, we've got very little money available. Uh, I'm going to go toward the um, town center and let's just check do i really want i can do a bunch of upgrades on my on my huts uh, let's just take a look i can improve my building by adding a few things let's say i don't want to be uh, to have somebody do it, which is going to stall stuff from my house i can add window grill i can also hire uh, people to protect my buildings I can um, protect my buildings against fire and there is also the little thing on the right which are going to be used to spy on your rivals to, to prepare, uh, let's say, um, maneuver to, uh, to do them harm or maybe to pit them against each other so there is plenty you can do with that and for now I think we are not going to dive 
too much into the hut mechanics. We're going to try to go for our business, we're going to try to make it work a bit. And there is also another thing which is going to be important at the beginning to do. You need to uh, to begin a courtship because you at the beginning we are very weak. You've got only one character, so if he, if he is killed, it is the end of the game. So what, oh, no. one of the first thing you want to do is to find uh, a suitable partner to uh, actually uh, found your dynasty. So it is not one of the most important, in interesting part of the game because uh, the mini game is a bit tedious. It's not even a mini game; it's just uh, going to be about uh, continuous effort. Oh, wait a sec, we've got a character from different dynasty. It seems to be interesting. So we've got Ellen Crazé, which is uh, from the Gaiden family. She's also seemingly uh, is she a thief? Uh, wait a sec, I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at the... Oh, Michel Bussero is a thief. So we are going to try to... Uh, to court her because it is going to be... Oh, wait a second, where is my character? Okay, so let's just try to go uh, court someone. We are going to go for uh, Michel Bussero. If I can. What? No walkers. It is not a walk I'm looking for. Come on, buddy. And... Okay. Sometimes when the, when a dynasty is too small, you cannot court people because it is going to end the dynasty. So it is basically not possible. So what I should do is go for somebody else. Uh, let's just try to do it again. So we've got a uh, Quintana Goa, which is uh, where it? a patron. No, I'm not looking for a patron. I'm looking for a thief. Okay, we've got a stealth best. Uh, that are dreadful. Okay, we're going to wait a bit and see what's going to happen. I've got my... My little uh, business which is being built. It is not... Let's say I'm going to go for... Uh, I'm going to try to be a medicus. And it is not a profession which is going to be as dangerous as thief, for example. You are not going to make enemies as much. So it is possible to... Uh, to delay a bit the courtship. But it is really important uh, so what's happening here there's also uh, also plenty of things which are going to happen you are going to have little notification on the left to tell you everything which is going to happen with the city and stuff okay so finished. this is our little hospital which is called the, La the Lazar house and now wow. I can walk in there I can hire people just get in there okay so we can enter in this area and we can just take a look at in there so I'm going to walk here and uh, let's say I don't really remember uh, how it works, but we're going to try to do, make it work. So the little hammer is going to be where I'm going to assign people to do things. So the first thing I need to do is to pick uh, to, uh, to go and um, probably uh, try to get uh, things uh, to heal people. So this area is going to be where you're going to assign people. I'm going to assign her to lavender, for done. example. She's going to go and try to find some lavender. I'm going to assign my character to make bandages. I'm going to require cotton and I cannot uh, find it like that. So I will need to to buy it. I can also make soap with uh, lavender, which is going to be quite important. And I should also be able to uh, assign my character to fix people when they're going to come here and to make money out of it. So uh, let's take a look. We've got also here um, and cart, which are going to be handy to go and buy things on the market and bring it back. And let's say I'm going to just go and pick up lavender. Also, it's going to be useful. Plus, when people are walking or doing stuff, they're going to get XP, which is going to enable the, them to increase their skill. It's working for every single character of the game, so there is plenty of data. As a matter of fact, uh, I do remember that the end game was basically unplayable because there, there were so many things, so many characters which was, uh, which were running and uh, which uh, were having relationship with each other. It's uh, I hope it's not going to be the case. I've got a PC which is much more powerful than it was in 2006. Yet I am expecting to have uh, a bit of a sluggish uh, end here. Nonetheless, let's just take a look. So we've got a little city which is going to increase over time uh, as every uh, dynasty is going to try to maneuver to make uh, its dynasty stronger. So for now we've got three towns. Uh, in between each town there is uh, generally bandits which are going to try to steal the caravans. So it is better to keep your, uh, let's say, to begin um, by staying in your 
hometown, so you should, you should not want to to get in trouble. Yet at some point, it might make sense to to go and sell your product in other town because there is going to, uh, to to be more money to be made that way. But for now, we've got three town: Lyon, Belay, and Macon. And our business is going to be in Macon to begin with. So let's just take a look at what we're going, what we're going to do. So currently, I'm uh, picking up lavender. <laughs> it's not really exciting, but it is necessary to make a bit of soap. And I've got an employee which is doing the same. Uh, so let's just take a look at what we can upgrade with this uh, little building. It's, it's important to be careful because at the end of each year, you are going to be required to, uh, to pay salaries and you need to be careful to keep enough money to do so because if you go too low it's going to signify the end of the game as well so uh, a day is going to be uh, let's say a year so at the end of each day it's going to be uh, a year which has passed so you will need to pay and let's see what happens so th the market here is going to be very handy because it is going to enable us to to buy everything we need and it's not too far so it is uh, quite good. It is also going to enable us to buy the thing we cannot uh, cannot get. Let's say if we need, uh, let's say, uh, a dagger, it is where we're going to buy it or um, things to protect us. But we can also uh, find the thing which are going to enable us to send to, to people we want to befriend with, like cakes and, and, and mead. But we can also find the thing which are going to be a bit more subtle. So let's say we're going to have a duel with... Um, with a rebel because it, it, can, it can it can do let's say you can uh, send them to trial but you can also uh, let's say do some kind of trial at arms so you can just provoke them in a duel and you can use dueling love to make your odds better so it is quite handy you can uh, use these spells to um, uh, make people um, uh, think you are richer than you are and there's plenty of things you can do which arrange we can read poetry to people there is so many things you can do with this game it's uh, always a bit uh, overwhelming when you just dive in in vino veritas okay i'm still picking up lavender let's just take a look and see if i can do something more efficient okay we've got somebody here let's just bring uh, my character back we need to fix these people Okay, so let's just uh, see. I wonder. I think if I'm in, it should be sufficient enough. But I don't really remember. Let's just take a look. We can also maybe uh, try to to improve a few things. Unless in the city. Oh, we've got stats as well. Cool. Am I uh, yet? No, I'm still coming. Okay, and let's take a look. Let's see if I can improve things. Let's take a look. Miracle Cure. It's going to cost me a bit, but I'm going to be able to make new things. That could be useful. We've got the Caduceus here, which is going to... Um, let's say whoever carries the Caduceus will be immune against any disease. So quite useful. You can, we can sell this for a bit of money. But what we need is a wedding bench, maybe, to attract more customers. Yes. Or we've got... Uh, healing water sprayer going to increase productivity let's go for this one maybe the bench as well and I would definitely like to be able to begin to work on these guys but I really don't remember what we do <laughs> uh, let's take a look see when there is fly over these guys it means that they are sick and administer okay here it is so we're going to be able to begin to walk in there. And this little panel here is going to be handy because you can encourage your worker to walk better. There is two ways to do it. There is uh, the way without money and the way with money. Mm -hmm. And this one is going to uh, make your employee like you uh, less. And this one is the contrary. So they're going to like, like you a bit better. And they may work, uh, in both lack. cases they are going to work faster, right but to it's you. not the same effect. Your healers cannot treat their patients. Oh, we are lacking treatment. Uh, what are we lacking? We need bandages, and we don't have bandages. No, we don't. So let's just ask my second character to make fit. bandages so we can begin to fix people. And we've got too many lavender anyway, so... 
Yeah. Okay, let's go back. So there is a little loading when you're going to load the building for the first time, but it is not. Let's say if I just got one to enter here, it is instantaneously. And if I just go into my, uh, where is my shack? Over there. There's a little loading. So now I will be able to enter it whenever I want. Okay, so as I was saying, you can do plenty with this little building. You can, uh, let's see, I do not have so much option yet. But at some point I will be able to uh, sabotage building, I will be able to uh, send my people to do oh. dreadful things <laughs> against against my opponent. There is plenty of ways to, let's say, to manipulate things. And it is really interesting. In vino Okay, we still don't have any... Uh, yes, because it's probably too late. My workers are going to begin uh, to stop walking at some at some time. I think it is uh, about five or something. There is only one profession where they never stop to walk. It is uh, the Thief Guild. They are going to try to pickpocket people all the time. Are we now uh, able to... I think we are going to lack a storage space. So what I should do is to upgrade my building to uh, get a bit more storage. So we can actually store the, the bandages. We've got a bunch now, I think. Yes, we do. So let's now walk here. I need to fix these people. And what I should try to uh, do is to unlock the different cure can I can use as soon as possible because it is uh, pretty easy to have a lot of patients which are going to come in there and not be fixed because we don't we don't have the right cure. But for now I'm just going to keep a bit of money to pay my my employers. You don't need a salary for yourself, but you need a salary for your employers. Oh. Oh, things won't work. Oh, you see there is somebody which is beginning a courtship here. It is uh, a fr the free citizen Thomas Allegra. And he's not far from any dynasty. The dynasty are a bit different. Let's just take a look at that. I'm going to show you that. I should also try to find a partner at some point. So uh, the family here. Yeah, we've got we've got our family, which is basically just me. It's going to expand soon. But let's just take a look. We've got the people which are going to have a non-aggression aggression pack for now. This is the one which are liking me the most for now. So we've got the dynasty Gaidan which is uh, pretty friendly to us for now, and the Dynasty Borje. If we take a look at the natural, there is a lot more. I've got different dynasty here. And if we take a look at the map, we can see uh, what kind of dynasty we've got here. So basically we've got the garden which are over there, which have uh, at here and a uh, pub over there. We've got, this is our dynasty, I think. And do we have other dynasty in this city? Yes, there is another one. There is uh, a bake shop here, which is belonging to somebody whose hut is over there. And we've got also uh, a dynasty of farmer of there, uh, the Calibri. I should just check the name of the big shop. It is the Bourget, okay. So there is a certain amount of dynasty in each town. We've got the uh, Skyland here. Is it the Skyland? I think they were in, in yellow. It seems strange. Oh, yes, maybe they are. Anyway, so each dynasty is going to expand. And we are getting a bit of money now. I'm fixing people. Yes, nice. And as I'm fixing people, I should be gaining a bit of XP. Let's just take a look at that. I'm not going to go through all the UI today, because there is plenty of things which are not going to be necessary for now, but which are going to be uh, useful later on. So I've been getting a bit of XP. I can actually spend it in uh, different <coughs> areas. Uh, is there something I would like to expand right now? Uh, let's see. Dexterity, Handicraft. Help me, please. Operation Speed. Uh, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to leave that to the other character which I'm going to work in my... I could go with bargaining to get a better price for for my cotton. Yeah, let's go with that. So I won't get ripped off in the market. Now we're going to begin to make money. Good. And I can also go outside and try to sell my remedies in the, in the public place here. Which is going to probably work not that well. 
yet when I'm going to get a little bit more employer, which is probably going to be tomorrow, I will try to maybe do that. Oh, what's going on here? Somebody's being attacked, I think. I think the guards are trying to arrest uh, somebody from the... Uh, let's see. Don't really know uh, which yeah, she she's from. Don't recognize. I think the flag should be your man. Uh, but I'm, uh, no, your man is a. Uh, let's say he's um, the hierarchy level of the dynasty here. It is the Gaiden. So it was. Oh, so this guy is out of the rug. Yes. What is also very cool is that you can enter any building and can use the service uh, for yourself. So there is um, a tavern over there, so I can use it. If I'm going to go into a courtship I, and I've got enough money, I can use uh, the facilities which I'm going to build into this tavern. Even though it's not mine, I can uh, just uh, pay for these and it's going to enable me to maybe be more efficient with my court or maybe to convince um, a politic or maybe to do plenty of these things to, to make things happen in my, uh, in my way. Okay, so I'm still curing people. Uh, let's wait for tomorrow's and I'm going to try to hire somebody. We're going to go a little bit faster. Alright, let's go fast forward here. Wait, there is something happening here. Uh, diplomacy. So your relationship with Borgia dynasty has changed to neutral. Yes, it is normal. If I'm not doing any effort in their direction, they are going to slowly uh, decrease. Oh, what's going on here? Seems my dexterity has decreased? How could it be? Okay. I think these are new events. And I think the, the church is taxing my <laughs> my purse. Anyway, it's not such a big deal wagon to go through the night. And we'll begin a new day with uh, maybe new employers. I need to be careful because, um, let's say, uh, you cannot employ people if there is no people which are lacking, uh, which are lacking activity in the town. So if there is no available uh, worker, it is not going to be possible to hire some. So it is sometimes impossible to get uh, more workers. Okay, let's just uh, try to hire somebody. Okay, apprentice, and we're going to hire uh, maybe Shirley Clifton. Why not? She's not of the right profession, but she's going to. I could just check if I can find somebody of the right profession there. Maybe a scholar, uh, Edana Grave. Nope. Just check another time. And craftswoman. Nope. Nope, I'm going to run out of people, I think. There's not so many people which are going to be... Okay, Scholar, Vivian, Kingsley. Good. So we've got now another employee. Let's just take a look and see what we can do. So they are both uh, sleeping. I'm going to assign one to uh, Lavender and the other one to Bandages. Yes. And if I had another one, I could assign them to, uh, to making soap. Yet for now, it should be enough. I don't think I can hire more people. Plus, it's going to cost me a bit, a bit too much. I could. Okay, I'm going to do so. Let's just try to hire somebody else. Uh, let's try to get another scholar, but I don't think it's a good idea to push to Gertrude. Oh, Marianne, good. Okay, so now I've got maybe enough employee to make this uh, shop work. So we are looking for Marianne, she's going to make the soup. Good, so we are going to begin to make things work properly. I'm fixing people, my three employees are getting lavender, making bandage and making soap. And I should be fine. <laughs> it's important to be careful because you can really quickly uh, run out of money. There is um, a lot of, 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 of uh, let's say, of jobs which are going to be uh, difficult to make work at first. Because you're not going to gain that much. And now that I've got uh, people which are working, I think I should also try to find a suitable partner because it's going to be important for me to have... Okay, so let's see. We've got um, Miranda Ash. At first, they're all going to have crappy, crappy skills. I'm going to go with Edna Grave because why not? 
Audio prima via est. All right. So they should say a cool ship has begun, but I'm not sure because my character is going to try to go toward uh, the other character, but they might be sleeping at this hour, so I might not be able to do anything. See my charisma. Maybe it was just somebody with perfume, but uh, something happened. Maybe my perception you of somebody has improved. Might I accompany you in a so there is a board. bit of these uh, cutscene, kind of. I have nothing against that. <laughs> which are going to uh, to appear when you are going to do this action. You can also just a uh, eat a sh escape, and in going to, it's going to just cut the scene. And if you are uh, far enough, it's not going to launch it. The so ship has begun, but it is uh, a long task. It is not something which is going to be resolved quickly, because you've got. Uh, uh, let's try to go, we are going to go for a complement here and if you take a look at the character here there is a progress bar which is going to be uh, filled very slowly I should just exit my job here and just go for it again and depending on what you are going to use it's going to uh, work uh, well or not and I'm not sure complement are going to work well with sieves Yet you cannot, uh, you cannot uh, do the same time, the same thing all the time. It's going to take a bit of time. There is a cooldown. So see, I've been using the complement, and it's going to take a bit of time to okay to unlock anything. So I should just go with the best one. Yet I need to uh, go with two of these because I cannot do the same one uh, twice on a row. Or oh, it is going to be a lot less efficient. I can also uh, gift stuff. Like I could just go and buy a, a nice dagger, she's a thief so maybe she liked it. I'm not really sure what's happening here, but I think my skills are uh, slowing, uh, are lowering, which is uh, very uh, unexpected because I didn't uh, such was possible. Anyway, I just uh, tried to use them properly, so... Uh, let's see, I've got almost 200, I should maybe keep it to give me a bit more concentration. If you take a look at the at the left part here, there is a la life expectancy here, and the, the bigger your constitution uh, pool is, the, the longer you are going to live. And it was especially important at the beginning because uh, with this version of the, the kill, because there, there, uh, there was a lot of different versions of the game, you are able to uh, set uh, just, uh, let's say, one year per, per day. But on the first one, it was four years per day. So your character was aging a lot faster and it was really easy to have him die before it, it was really, uh, he was really able to do something meaningful. Okay, am I still walking? Yes, I am. Good. Yet, I will need to go and try to uh, do something about my court very soon. Let's just try to go with Big Will. And uh, let's take a look. I've got now a tab which is going to be dedicated to the woman I'm courting. And it's going to take uh, probably a few days to convince her to join my dynasty. Meanwhile, I'm not going to walk very well. So uh, let's just take a look. Uh, maybe I should just try to ask one of my uh, characters to do the healing instead of me. Uh, so where are they? Do we have anybody in there? Not really. Everybody's out there looking for lavender and things. So I'm going to ask... Uh, I think Moran is working on this. So I'm going to ask her to stop it. She's not even, uh, she has not begun because she's just too early for now. Uh, I'm going to assign her for this. It will be done. For now. We'll just uh, change it when she's going to arrive. I just speed up a bit. I don't even know where I am. And is the cool uh, going well? I'm not sure. Oh, something is burning. It is another dynasty's house which is burning. Oh, she's sick, which is not cool because you can very well have the character you're going to court. Uh, die before you are done with it, which is not the perfect uh, way. Oh, we are being read a, a poem. Someone has dedicated a poem to you. Yep, I knew it, and I just uh, tried to uh, see. No, it's too too early. I just bit a bit. The sales tax has been changed. Okay, so this is something we can change with uh, with the politics. You can change the level of tax depending on your on your rule. 
we're going to show that just in a second just, i just want to launch another action here to advance this core chip so let's go with wait, with embrace okay and let's take a look at uh, everything which is going to be linked to the town so as we're speaking about politics so for now this town has, uh, is really a little town so there is not so many uh, roles which are going to be here we've got the mayor the captain and the village reef the guild rep representative and oh come on buddy okay uh, <laughs> it's, it would be nice to be able to disable these I'm not, I'm not even sure if we can do that or not i could just check can we disable these event whether or not to save i don't think we can which could be useful it would be as efficient to see them from afar maybe uh, activate it if you want but it is not uh, particularly useful it is fun sometimes but it is not particularly useful so as, w as i was saying it is a little town and there is not so many uh, positions to be filled and if you take a look here we can see there is, there is a bunch of people which are going to run for office in the next uh, meeting so the the job of Ed Torturer is going to be uh, challenged with these three characters and all the members of the chamber are going to to vote and depending on their relation with each other it's going to uh, change a bit so we've got uh, four people which are running for this one which is empty and these seats are going to uh, this is uh, Valentine Barato I think she is running for captain yes she is because she's already in this you can only enter at the lower stage and you can climb through it you cannot enter directly on different stage so you need to convince people you need to give them gifts you need to uh, read them poem you need to do things for them it is uh, quite important if you want to have uh, a huge influence in the town okay am i still walking <laughs> i'm not even, i'm not even checking my yes 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 okay so let's see still fixing people okay so i just bit a bit i don't know if there is more which are going to enter that might be okay one more and we are going to go is this edana Can you help? Let me have a it look. might be yes here she is i could actually uh caught her a bit when she's going to be fixed production nice. has been interrupted nothing to worry about okay just a cold good and let's just take a look just a little bit more what are we lacking i should check and just take a look at the so we've got plenty of bandages but we do not have enough space to store them okay let's just take a look can i just no nah. and i could make a bit more so let's just uh, unassign that character so she's going to now uh, let's take a look who's walking here okay vivian is not walking so i'm going to ask her to fix people shall i help and uh, meanwhile as i'm not walking anymore <laughs> I'm going to uh, go and try to finish my... What's happening here? Chatting and stuff? Yes, chatting and stuff. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's try to go again for the quill. And we should almost be there. Our oh, dynasty is almost safe. Kind of. Because when you die, you can play as any member of your dynasty. You can play as your wife, you can play as your kids. It is just important to have somebody to uh, take over after you die. It is not that often that you die, but it, it can be a huge blow to your dynasty if your character is really, uh, really well leveled up and if, if he's really, really good. It can be more difficult after a while. Okay, where is Elena? I think I might be. Uh, I might have failed my action here. Let's try again. Come on, it's walking. It's just slow to appear. So where is she? I just try to follow my character and see where it's going. I really like oh, lovely these down now. It's really really cool, especially as they grow. Because every single building is possible to upgrade. Let them finish. And 
it's going to really change the look of the city a lot. Okay, so oh, is it progressing? A little bit better. Okay, still not there yet. <laughs> Let's try to to bribe her a bit. It's going to improve uh, the way she like me. Divide and conquer. <laughs> look at oh shady looks. Up. Oh, how nice of you. All right, so now I should have uh, the blue bar, which Someone is going to progress a bit. Them. Plus, I'm going to take a lot of XP, so it is important to try to do it. It's going to cost you a bit of money to do that, but it is always uh, interesting to do it, as you are going to gain a lot uh, of XP, especially at the beginning, where well, it is quite necessary to progress fast. Because as you are going to level up, you are going to unlock perks, you are going to... Because I did not choose that, but... I can uh, I can use these to make my character better, but there is also abilities which are going to be given you every every few levels, and it's going to give you a huge boost, like uh, maybe the ability to to carry more or maybe be stronger or be a very good farmer and stuff. And there is plenty of these abilities which are going to make a huge difference in in the way you are going to advance. Am I ready now? Oh, they are still chatting, so all good for us. And. Uh, Let's just go a bit faster. She has left. Okay. So are we now ready to launch one of the one of these action again? Not yet, but soon. They broke something, it seems, and they are having fun. Okay, let's just uh, slow down a bit. Let's just uh, take a look. Uh, let's go with an embrace. Let's just go with... Alright. And meanwhile, are we walking well? Yes, it seems I've got people which are walking, people which are being fixed. And we do have a bit of... yes, we do have plenty of these in advance, which is quite nice. I need to remember how it was to move these things, because it was a bit strange, I think. Because you need to actually keep it pressed, and you choose the number you're going to pick up. And then, I yeah, don't know. <laughs> you can pick up things from, you know, more than one. Of the war begin. Well, yes, I'm, I'm not ready yet. You can pick up a bit of each. I just uh, bring a bit here. So in this area, you can uh, put things to sell. So if you want people to come and buy things, you can also bring them to the um, to the to the market. I just bring it back. Okay, not what I wanted to do, but still working. I could probably do it in the other way. Nope. I should be walking. I don't remember anyway. I will just try to find out how to deal with the storage later on. Anyway, let's just uh, get out of this building. We got enough money to do things. Uh, am I going to maybe improve that a bit? I could try to uh, discover a medical a miracle cure here, which I could go and sell in the streets. So it's going to ask me to uh, dedicate somebody to make this cure. You see, I, n I need now to find a bit of honey and to um, to dedicate a bit of my lavender to make these cure and I will be able to go and sell, them, sell these in the streets. Yet, uh, how much is honey uh, costing? Ah, so, basically I think the price is 47, let's just check. So the price in Macon is 47. On, uh, no, it's it's uh, 80 on purchase and 47 on selling, so it is the most expensive area to buy the honey. So it is a bit cheaper in Lyon, but it's still very expensive, and it is uh, also the same price in Belay. So I've got no interest in going in this town to buy it because I, I think there is probably no. Um, no producer of honey in this city, so it is probably the most expensive. You can very well just um, keep a resource in your storage and not sell it until the price are uh, skyrocketing here. It is definitely possible to just retain things to have them gain value. Okay, where am I? I'll just uh, click on me. I'm somewhere in the country, seemingly. Oh, I followed Adana somewhere. Okay, let's just take a look and let's try to wait a sec. I should be ready. Okay. So she's a thief. This should work. 
depending on the character, on the on the class, different action uh, work uh, better or worse. And it failed, it seems. <laughs> Let's just check. Was it the right? Oh, <laughs> my mistake. I did not aim for the right character. It was not a Dana. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I'm here anyway. I just leave. I've been losing reputation, which is not such a big deal. But I might have lost a bit of reputation with her. I, I need to check. No, it's still, still fine. No witness. Okay, let's just come back here. I've been doing what? stupid things already. This area of the town here is where you fight your duels if you are having an argument with somebody and you just don't know how to fix it. Uh, each one has a gun and you just shoot until somebody is hurt. Yep, as you say, <laughs> I've been doing one of these. Uh, we still have people who are to be sick. Well, getting plenty of money right now. I could use it maybe to make my house a bit more secure. I could try to maybe unlock new things. And if I want to make, uh, let's say I could upgrade the building as well. And to do that, I need quite a bit of money, but it's not too much. I could do it quite quickly. I was not spending it already. And this little um, thing here is very handy. Let's say you've got many buildings, you don't want to manage them. You can uh, go with um, this automation here to make it work uh, without your input. So you can just, uh, um, let's say, uh, you, you make rules uh, which are going to be uh, applied to a business. So if you don't want to, uh, let's say, uh, you don't want to um, hire new people, you can just do it. You, you just want to keep the one you've got. You don't want to uh, hire new on cart. It is it is going to handle the thing. You don't want to make, uh, you want to make the, um, let's say you want to make the uh, upgrades. It, it is possible to have the thing to do it automatically. So when you've got plenty of building, you can basically just uh, remove the micromanagement and focus on what you are uh, dedicated with at the moment. So if you want to go with politics and you've got a reasonably good business, you can pretty well just uh, go with uh, the full uh, AI stuff and it's going to uh, manage the thing while you are going to be away. It's probably not a good thing to do with uh, first your first uh, your first uh, job, uh, your first um, business, because it is going to spend maybe a bit too much, so you might be in trouble. Yet, when all the upgrades are done, it is not really uh, so much to worry. Plus, I think it's going to repair the building as well. Okay, so where am I? And <laughs> I'm not sure what you are doing here, but let's just uh, go back to important things. Uh, let's take a look. Let's this time not uh, make a mistake. The, the, the dress was the same, I assume wrong. It is almost the end of the day, I need to hurry if it is possible. Yes, it is possible. Okay, so let's just take a look. Am I going to be ready? It would be nice to be able to finish this task before we end this video so we can begin the Someone next... Oh, yes. Fallen in love with you. Okay, so let's just uh, go with... Uh, Alright, let's just uh, propose. As for end. It is a bit strange that there is people here, but it is working nonetheless. So there is uh, many ways to do that. For you, and our family. you can do a discreet Most one, or you can go into the church. It's going to cost you a bit, though. So it's not that expensive for now. So we're going to go with that, with the monastery chapel here. They are going to go both to the to the chapel. I think it should be maybe that. No, it's this one, the monastery of Macon here. Am I lost? Kind of. Oh. Same as before, if you did not load the building first, you need to do it. My last. <laughs> I'm coming. My, my, my clues are really not good. <laughs> Alright, here we go. What are you doing? Don't want to sit. Okay, so it is the end of the day. We're going to begin the new day with a marriage. 
and we'll begin this new day also with a second character in our roster. We can have up to three, but we can only control one. Oh, we can. I think we can control three. My mistake. It's been a while. I will need to check that, but I think we can control three character. Yes, I'm pretty sure about this. There is three slot, but we can have more, much more character in your family. Oh, here we go. So she has the close of the thief now. Here I am. And I can actually uh, use her to get a silver business, a rock business. We can adopt an, uh, an orphan. It is also a new thing from uh, from the, the guild to Renaissance, the last uh, version. I just uh, bring them all. Okay, so we can Child's definitely play. control both. Let it be so. And now I do not have a second business, so uh, I'm going to be uh, unable to. Okay, I need to go there and try begin to fix these people. Now I've got enough time. And as I was saying, I need to keep my character leveling up, uh, especially as. Um, the children they are going to have together are going to uh, inherit a, a part of the skill. So the more skills there are, the um, the best. Let's say the best children they are going to have. It's a bit, yeah. Uh, yet it is going to work that way. Okay, let's just uh, take a look. Got plenty of people to fix. Let's just take a look at my people. Uh, okay, so I think Vivian was not walking. I'll get right to it. Okay, so now I'm, I'm doing the healing thing. My three employees are going to uh, produce the thing I need to heal people, and Edana here is, For the family. is going to go to uh, to my house, and she, she's Good going plan. to read and try to learn new things. And when we get, we'll get uh, enough my money. Is sharp. I could also... I think I, I've got enough to make one. Yet I'm not sure I want to make a... Um, I will see next time. Maybe I will uh, change my mind and will try to do one of these uh, business like the pickpocket stuff. The silvery den. Yet uh, for now I want to uh, have uh, learn new things. Because she has, uh, she has probably a bunch of XP points to spend. Yeah, she has a bunch, as every uh, every big thing you are going to do is going to uh, reward you with XP, like the, the marriage here was something, so I've got 500. And I want her to read books, so I'm going to ask her to do so. And wh where was it? Train. For fame okay, and she's honor. going to, to train here, she's going to uh, gain uh, XP point, and she will, be, she will be much better. So what I want to do first is that she's a rogue, so I might want to expand uh, ability to be stealthy, to fight, and probably ability to uh, uh, wait, to avoid attacks. Yet I think I'm going to go um, first with charisma and maybe a bit of rhetoric, which are two very important skills of the game. Let's go with three in charisma. We're going to go a bit with rhetoric as well. And the next thing we'll do is maybe improve a bit of constitution to uh, have a life, uh, live longer. So it should be fine. Okay, so she's ready now. And... No? And I'm not walking because there is nobody, everybody's sleeping. Yet, it seems everything is working fine for now. We've got enough money to pay everybody, hopefully. The... Everybody's good, doing a good job here to make things work. Look at that. It's a pretty uh, for for 2006 games. Just a pretty game that way. I still maintain that the character could be better, but I've got nothing against uh, the buildings and the way that the wall is. It's just doing it pretty well. Anyway, let's just speed up a bit so we can just see the end of the day and see the next one begin. We've got things to do. You have become ill. Oh crap! <laughs> it's not going to be so such of an issue because I should basically be able to fix myself. Maybe not fix myself, but I could assign somebody. Come on, consult a medicus. You are medicus. Why are you going to go? I hope he's not. Don't you dare leaving. No, good. <laughs> because he could just go to the next... Uh, there is another Medicus in the city. And I'm pretty sure I would prefer to have my people just fix me. 
Come on. I'll Moran, right I need it. you to come here and fix me. Where is she? She's taking a break? No, she's not. Here she comes. As you think fit. Please uh, take care of that. I think I'm going to pay, but this is not such of an issue because I'm going to get the money as well, so it's not going to change anything. It is a very good Greetings. thing to have um, have to have an hospital and a silver business because you can actually uh, fix your sieves without paying, which is absolutely amazing because you can spend a lot of money in healings. All right, you so the money is back. <laughs> what may I do for you? Okay, so it is done. Let's just. Uh, I've got nobody, uh, I'm lacking space, so I need to make mm, miracle cures, yes, but I do not have the space, uh, I need to make soap, so be it. and I'm not going to get any lavender as well, so Vivian, Sabine and Marianne, I just send Marianne to make as you think bandages, fit. I'm already curing people, and we need to buy an extra slot or two, so we can store more things, yet it is not possible way is that it should be how much money is that I've got enough money I'm pretty sure about this no oh, storage slot good what I was looking for I just add also the griddle and the protection against fire I think I will be in need of upgrading the business and if I want to be able to access that so, uh, infirmary hospital, so I probably cannot do it uh, yet. Just take a look at the breed. Uh, wait a sec. Yes, it is uh, of a higher level, so I will need to upgrade the building before I can actually reach out. Okay, so almost everybody's doing something. I need to, uh, to build a new. Uh, Oh, we've got uh, smugglers here. So it is uh, a rival business if I'm building one of these. I just take a look at the map. So is there many thieves in this city? It seems to be the case. Uh, let's see. So this is my best house here. It's the last house. There is my rival, which should be over there, which is not cool. Yet there is a bunch of thieves around. Smuggler hall over there. I think uh, the public house should be also... Uh, a rug profession job, but should be a lot less aggressive than the smuggler hall. We've got. Is there more? No, oh, it seems to be alright. Kind of. Oh, there's another one here. So we've got already two of these. It's probably a bad idea to go with a third because there is not going to be so much money to to pick up. There is already plenty of thieves in here. You should just take a look here. This guy here. They are stealing money from people. I'm going to stick around a bit and you are going to see them do. It's not particularly uh, discreet. Yet, if the people don't have money... Uh, here she goes. Alright, done. And she's going to steal a bit of money from that guy. Okay. And another thief has been... Uh, uh, this one was fleeing but he's going to end badly. Because um, you see the yellow dynasty, they are thief, and the purple dynasty they are thief as well. So they are kind of opponent and they are going to try to tackle each other. So I'm pretty sure I don't want to get into this fight. So I will need to find another way. Maybe I could just open a public house. It might be well enough and I don't know if I could be walking there. Yeah, it is going to war to cost a bit. Let's just take a look. So uh, what is our what are our options here? I'm not going to go with a uh, rubber nest because it is quite difficult to maintain. It is going to I'm going to have plenty of people which are going to be hurt uh, badly. I can lose a lot of employees. It is not what I'm looking for. I'm not going to go for a mercenary quarter either. Um, I think I might want to go for a pub to begin with, and we'll see how we are going to uh, deal with that. Uh, is there? Oh, I need to. Okay, I need to get a, a better title. So I need to go to the. Um, let's go it? with Adana. I need to go to the to the town hall. 
Let it be to so buy a new title, play. which is going to grant me new rights. I believe I go with Ada Knight will be good for both. As it is shared amongst the, the dynasty. For fame and honor. Let's just uh, take a look. So let's go into the town hall. Where is Ada now? Shall yeah. I help? For Here fame she comes. and honor. Here she comes. So now Victory I'm going to uh, ask. No, I don't want to charge anybody. I want to purchase the title. It's not that expensive, I believe, at, at first. So we're going to go for the title of citizen. We won't be coming as anymore. Is it raining outside? Phew. Autumn days like this are rather uncomfortable, don't you think? Have you already taken a number? Ah, <laughs> just my little joke. Come on, buddy. What can I do for you? So I need. I'm certain you have come it's to going to cost a me 500. So we are going to go you for it. You wish to acquire a better title yep, that comes I do. to. Very well. I shall see what can be done and will inform you when the time has come. All right. So now we've got uh, that which is going to be in motion. Meanwhile, for honor's sake, good Let's plan. just take a look. I need to spend my skills, and I think we might want to. get an heir for this dynasty so let's take a look uh, what do I want to go for still this is going to be very important yet constitution is important as well let's just go for constitution to begin with okay so now let's just bring uh, I think I need to go back to the house to do that but let's just br bring uh, Edana back there all right Let's just uh, check if I've got all my points spent. Alright, I don't. And what do I want to focus on? Uh, probably charisma, but I'm going to go for a bit of handicraft to speed up a bit my abilities. Oh, uh, what character do I... Oh, I've got Edana here, so I'm spending points for nothing. We've got the title, which has been uh, assigned already. It is why I've got so much XP to spend. So it was not uh, really what I wanted to go with Handicraft then. <laughs> it was a uh, waste. So I'm going to go with a bit of martial arts. Now I'm going to go with a bit of dexterity, so we survive a bit longer. We've got still plenty of XP, so I'm going to also try to go with a little bit of, of steals. So if I'm doing stuff which are forbidden, I won't get uh, spotted that easily. And we've got an ability, nice. So what do we want to go for? We've got Pack Mule, uh, Iron Side. Uh, I think the first thing I need to go with is probably ed Educated. So we're going to learn things faster. We're going to get a 5% uh, more experience. You've got also Mentor, which is very useful. It's going to uh, enable you to train your employee a bit faster. Uh, sneaky Fighter. Uh, deep sleep to recover faster. No, we're going to go with educated to begin with. All right, and let's take a look. Oh, I've got plenty of XP points to spend here. Let's just go for a bit more charisma, maybe a bit more rhetoric. It is very important because it is enable it is enabling you. Oh, come on! It is going to enable you to to win your trials or stuff like these. And uh, I need to go for a bit more constitution here, so I'm going to leave a bit longer. Maybe a bit more. Oh, I've been ex uh, I've been losing things here. Um, I think empathy would be useful. <laughs> Yet not for my profession, seemingly <laughs> strange. I get knowledge. Uh, nope. Let's go for handicraft. I've got my skill to spend here, and let's go for rhetoric, and maybe a bit of dexterity as well. And I'm betty, why not? Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm going to go for the same educated here. Okay, so now that I've got people which are going to be uh, good enough, we're going to try to get an heir to this dynasty and we'll have a very good beginning to start our next episode, I think. We'll just need to uh, add another business and we'll be uh, good to go. So we just need an heir. I'm armed. Is she armed? All right. How about we retire to our bedchamber together? Let's give them give them a bit of privacy. All right, and we'll see if it's going to work well. 
Meanwhile, let's just take a look. Is everybody walking? Well, we are making uh, uh, making soup, and we've got enough. Uh, are we lacking something? Yes, we are lacking uh, wool. So I could. I'm going to do that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to send my nothing but guard to the. Um, come on, just just send. No road is too long. Yes, it's not really far anyway. So we're going to, I could just uh, pick it up with my character, but we're going to send the card because he's obviously busy. And uh, we're going to buy a bit of... Oh, what's happening here? Uh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing of interest. Oh, I, f I failed to see the um, thing with the new, s new privilege here. So I'm looking for... Where was it? I think I must have missed it. Here it is. So we need the wool. I, I, I know it is expensive. It is 37. It is the most expensive around. But I need it. So we are going to buy everything here. Okay. It's going to make uh, life a bit more difficult for my uh, rivals. Nothing so it's but even work. better. We are going to send, unload and return I believe. I hope I don't there we get go. Robbed. And hopefully it will help us a bit to keep producing bandages because without bandages I'm not making money anymore. So let's just check the cards. Is it now empty? Yes it is. So you can also, let's say you want to uh, send a card to another t city and you don't want to be rubbed, you can hire uh, people to protect the, the cards, which is quite useful, especially as with bigger cards where you can assign more people to protect it. Yet it is going to cost you quite a bit upfront. Nonetheless, let's just check what's happening here. Uh, seems to me everybody's walking well. We are going to lack lavender at some point. And I do not have any honey, so I believe it might so be, be it. better not to Naturally. Assign, assign people to that. Uh, as everybody uh, turned well here, it seems to be the case, I think. Yep, uh, I think Elena is pregnant. So we might get. A child soon. So guys I think with everything which is being in motion right now we might have a good basis for a pretty good second episode. So guys I hope you like the video. If you do please leave a like, a comment or subscribe and I'll see you next time guys. Have fun!